Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, I'll present to you some, some trophic relationship or some aspect of trophic relationship of Hake and Shark. I'm not a shark um, expert. Uh, I, I work for the Minister of Fishery and I'm more involved with um, Hake studies, environmental uh, assessment of Hake and all that. But uh, this is part of my PhD, one of the section of my PhD study that I'm doing at uh, with Rose University and uh, supervised by Nicole. And uh, <coughs> I'm trying to use safer isotopes so that uh, to get some inferences on, on, the, on, the, on the trophic relationship of the, of the two uh, species. The reason that I'm doing it is that because uh, these two, the Hake and Shark, they do have depth, uh, the, the three species that I will look at, they do have depth, uh, overlapping depth distributions. Uh, when you do survey, we catch them, and uh, we catch them at a station where you mostly catch, where we, where we are also get, uh, catching hake. And uh, some stomach coated studies that have been done previously on, uh, on shark indicated that shark eat, uh, eat hake. And um, uh, stomach coated studies that have been done on hake also indicate that uh, some of the, co of the, of, of the hake preys are also uh, uh, common with, uh, with uh, they, they have common prey with, with shark. Uh, so the main research questions that I had in mind is just how trophically are related are they based on the on the on the on the isotope uh, uh, signatures. So that means uh, how to go out collect uh, tissues from uh, high in the, the, the three shark species of Namibia, uh, and uh, the isotopic analysis was only focused on the two isotopes, uh, the carbon thirteen and uh, nitrogen fifteen. Uh, and what you get from carbon uh, 13 is mostly the source of production, and why the, uh, the, the nitrogen 15 gives you the, the an indication of the relative trophic position of that uh, of that species. So the, the isotopic measurements that I got, I put through, I put them through the, this analysis or this test. Uh, the first one was just uh, an ANOVA um, with a AGST uh, postdoc test, just to look at the if there is a significant difference between the, the, their values and also to, to, to do a pairwise pair, pair comparisons. And then I used another method, uh, SIBA, which was, was published by in 2011. What this method does, it's, it's mostly compelling um, trophic niches of, of, of different organisms. And the advantage of this method is that uh, commonly uh, in, in stable isotope studies, we, we are comparing so many organisms with different sample sizes. And this one is more, um, it's not that independent, but it's less affected by the sample sizes, so you will be able to compare um, organisms with different uh, sample sizes. And then I used SIAS. Uh, uh, this is just uh, one of the uh, isotope mixing models that has also been published in 2010. That, that, uh, the, basis, the basic idea behind this is just that one can be able to have um, an idea of feasible contributions of, uh, of, uh, of a certain source into the uh, stable isotope measurements. Or, values of, uh, of, of a predator. So I've used it to, to look at uh, uh, the contribution of hake in the diet of the three shark species and also the contribution of other preys in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the diet of, 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 of sharks. This is the, just isotopic char characteristic, just a summarization of, uh, of, 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 of the data that I have, uh, a number of, uh, of uh, hake and a number of sharks. And, uh, and this, this, this is the trophic position uh, calculated based on the, on the uh, <coughs> nitrogen 15. And uh, what you can see is that one of the shark, uh, most of the sharks have a uh, higher trophic position than, 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 than hake species. But one of the weakness of the of stable isotope is that trophic position, it is calculated based on the um, assumed trophic emission factor, which differ from species. If you don't have a species or species specific uh, trophic emission factor, that, that basically means that you use the commonly used one that are, that are not specific to your species. So this is just an idea. It might not be um, it, it, until we get uh, species specific uh, trophic emission uh, factors for 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 hate. These are just uh, based on the assumption of the commonly used uh, um, uh, enrichment factors. Uh, there are no results. This is just. Um, the pairwise comparison of the uh, carbon or nitrogen th uh, 15 of, of different species. Uh, what we have here is, uh, for example, DC is uh, Dania cassia with Centrophorus uh, uh, squamosus. Then you have DF uh, da Dania propodrum, MC that M capensis, one of the X species, and P Empradoxes, 
one of the uh, head species too, and then you have, uh, yeah, it's just a pairwise comparison of those species. And all what you have here, it's a mean differences. And uh, this, if the mean differences with this confidence interval does not touch uh, this line, which is zero, that means that uh, the, pair, the pairwise comparison of, 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 of those two uh, species are significantly different from zero, which means they are significantly different from each other, if it's significantly different from each other. And uh, in terms of the nitrogen 15, um, Nitrogen 15. Um, we know what we, what I saw is that the two shark from the, uh, the Diana genus they are not uh, different from statistically different from each other in terms of 15. That basically means that they probably consume uh, uh, species or prey from a different uh, or for the same or similar trophic position. And then you have emperor doxes, one of the hake species, and the uh, Diana Tasha, one of the shark species that are also not tropically different from each other. This is what I didn't expect because I know shark are supposed to be um, a top predators and uh, now I, I'm seeing that they, they is, it, it depends on the species. There are some shark that are so different from hake, but uh, paradoxes that is not tropically different from uh, uh, Diane Acacia, but they, then the two hake species are also not uh, statistically different from each other, which is, uh, which is not surprising because um, I had a paper published last year that looked at the tongenic trophic shift of the two hake species, and it also showed that they they, they are not um, significantly different from each other. And then, in terms of um, a delta or carbon carbon fifteen, which look at the source of production, uh, here it seems that all the species were not statistically different, or statistically significant different from each other, which basically means that they they most of them they do. Uh, Consume and prey from the uh, from the similar uh, source of, uh, of carbon, but the only difference was emperor doxes, one of the hake species, and uh, C. C. Comosus, one of the shark species. They were completely different from each other, and this might this might mean that uh, because emperor doxes is it's it, it might mean that, that emperor doxes have a diet, although it mixes diet from uh, both the benthic sources and the, and the pelagic source, the diet is more dominated by these, uh, the, the pelagic, uh, pelagic species. Why the, 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 the shark species, uh, although it does mix, uh, it can mix uh, both uh, sources from both pelagic and benthic, the diet, the, the diet is more dominated by uh, uh, prey from the benthic sources. And uh, this is the only difference. Otherwise, all the other species uh, pairwise comparison was not significant even for each other, and they, that means they mix both them, um, both the sources. And the, the CBA result, which is uh, comparing the niches of, of, of the two, of, of, the, of, the, of the species that I have, uh, this is what you say, this, this dotted line here, this is when you are just plotting isotopes uh, without, uh, without using CBA, just having a convex color of the isotopes, and this is this is what the SIBA uh, uh, program is trying to, to avoid because this, this convex hull changes with sizes. So if you add another uh, sample there, it, it will be a different, a different uh, uh, convex hull too. So SIBA tries to avoid that. And this is, uh, they say, so according to the, those guys that published it, they say it's independent or more robust against size. And what you can see here is that the black circle is cis commosus. It seems to be the only species that is um, different from all the other species. It, it does, not, does not overlap with, uh, with any of the species. But why the other two sharks from Diana, Diana genus, they both uh, have an overlapping niche with both a uh, uh, paradoxes and uh, capacity the two the two hake species. Uh, and then in terms of niche size, this is just the, the size of that circles. It, it, um, it looks like paradoxes is uh, one of the smallest uh, niche sizes, which is significantly different from, uh, from M. Parkensis. And this is quite surprising because they are not, according to the 15, uh, nit uh, nitrogen 15, they are not tropically uh, that, that different. But then it says here, according to their niche size, uh, they are uh, paradoxes one is significantly smaller than the emperpensis. But otherwise, the shark species have, uh, they don't have uh, significant difference uh, niche sizes. 
And the CR results, the contribution of different um, traits in the diet of sharks, starting with the uh, CES, or the Central Forest Squamosus. Uh, I used the number of, um, of, of, of traits, uh, I sort of very just to look at, uh, to, learn to, get, to learn them together with the Hake, uh, Hake, uh, Hake data that I have. What you can see here is that for this species, there seem to be an increased contribu contribution of school stations. While the Hague species, they are not that, uh, but they, according to the role that these other they have, they are about 5%, five, five uh, their contribution is about 5% into the diet of, uh, of, 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 of this. The next species, um, the contribution of different species does not look to be so much different. That means it probably uh, feed on the variety of, uh, of, 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 of prey, and it's probably an opportunistic species too. It, it depends on the availability of the prey. And uh, the same, the same applies to the, the this Diana or the another Diana prophodromes, which, which uh, it looks to have the similar uh, dietary contribution of different species than the the Diana Cassia. So the conclusion, the preliminary conclusion that I got from this is that um, uh, the Hague species and the um, some shark species they do have overlapping trophic niche. So, um, and also that one of the Hague uh, of the of, of, of shark species seems to have a weak a dialect it, a trophic interaction with Hague species. And uh, it also da, uh, looks to have, a, or it does have different carbon sources if you compare it to, uh, to, 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 to M. paradox as one of the Hague species, but it's not, also, it, it, it's not the, 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 its carbon source is not simply different from the, the M. capensis. And there is also um, um, increased contributions of um, crustaceans in the diet of uh, sea squamosus. And uh, I think those are the primary or preliminary conclusions that I can have. I just, um, and that was part of, that was my presentation. I just want to thank the, this was the ministry, my employer. Uh, they paid for the ship time, the Bones University paid for my trip here. And there is a project within the Beguera Current Commission, which is a commission between Namibia, Angola, and South Africa, that look at the trophodynamic of the major commercial species, and it did fund the isotopic analysis of the samples that I used. Thank you.